trying to build this 40 series test rig, but I can't seem to find the rest of my GPUs. We got the 4090 on there, that's been on there, but I gotta find the rest of my 40 series cards that are gonna populate this, and I know I have them, I just cannot seem to find them anywhere, so I got a couple ideas of where they could be. I used to use this grow tent for mining, so I'm thinking maybe I just kinda like left one in there or something. I just, oh, oh, yep, there, there's one. Okay, hold on, we gotta start in the garden this year. Let's see. Um, Yep, yeah, oh, there it is, there's one. Okay, so this is, what is this? Let's go take a look. This looks like the 4070 Ti Super. That's good, I needed that one. So we found one, I think there's two more we gotta go find somewhere. I know I was partying pretty hard last night, so I'm wondering if maybe just by chance there could be one, I don't know, like in, in the bar or something? Let's see. Um, no, maybe not. Oh, yep, okay, what do we got? We got one. Yeah, I knew I was partying too hard. What's this? 4070 Super, okay, we got this one. Now I know Red Fox Jr. tells me a lot of times, Dad, I wanna spend more time with you, so I'm wondering if he maybe took, oh, yeah, oh, oh, he's funny, look at this. Look what's in here. What do we got, all right, I see. What's up, everybody? Okay, let's see what we got. Whoa, I can't believe he took this without me noticing. What is this thing? Which one? Oh, let's see. That is, ooh, the 4080 Super. Man, that's a big card. I think that's all of them. Let's get back in the basement. Now that we have our GPUs, I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna start the building of a test rig for the 40 series cars. I have one, which is amazing for 30 series cars. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link up in the card above to that video, which is really, really cool. I love just having one of every GPU to test new algorithms to just get out to all of you. It's, it's really fun, it's really rewarding for me. So I'm excited to finally get these GPUs together that I've honestly had for a little bit uh, in one rig and I actually have some more coming today. So this will just be the start and I'll have to expand this. So I have this kind of wired up roughly for what I'm looking to do here. I looked up all the TDP of each individual GPU and I'm gonna split the load from the 1000 watt ATX power supply that I have on here, as well as the 750 watt uh, server power supply that I have on here. And that'll be totally fine for what this rig will be right now, though I'll probably have to upgrade that server power supply in the future. And the way I'm gonna line this up is I have the 4090 here, which takes this amazing four eight pins, uh, which one is split to go to the riser. And then I think I'm gonna leave a little bit of a space here for some airflow because I actually just opened this 4080 Super for the first time today and I'm absolutely blown away at how big it is. I didn't expect it to be that big. It's actually the same exact size as the 4090. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space and get that card uh, up on this rig next. And this is gonna go, because of the TDP that it pulls, is gonna go on the server power supply. So I got my riser here ready to go. And I don't have any of the power supplies with that 12 pin power connector. They're still just all power supplies I've had since before that time. Uh, so I do have to use the splitters that come with these GPUs in order to get it all wired up. So get this wired up in this VETA frame. I'm actually gonna go one spot over here, screwed in. Um, so now that came with one of the splitters that goes to three A pin. So the 4090 goes to four A pin. This goes to 3A pin, and it looks like the 4070 Super and 4070 Ti Super go to dual A pin. So one of these is gonna go into this splitter that is going already to the server power supply. And that is perfectly safe. And then the other two are gonna get dedicated strands right from the server power supply. So that's gonna be three strands total powering this monster of a graphics card. So that card is wired up and ready to go. Uh, now let's do the 4070 Ti Super. And this one is gonna share the load on the ATX power supply with the 4090, which is 450 watts plus 285 watts, which still gives enough room for the motherboard, uh, CPU, RAM, and all of that. Plus I'm not gonna run these at their full TDP, but I always like to plan that I'm going to or overclock reset. I don't want anything tripping, anything getting overloaded. So that is how I wire all these up. And I think I'm gonna leave a little bit of space again and just go all the way 
on the end here because the 4070 Super is a really small card, low TDP on that one. Plus it'll be on the end, which means it still will have airflow on one side of it. So let's go ahead and get this one screwed in here. What's weird about the 4070 Ti Super, it's the only card that they didn't make a Founders Edition of, and I'm not exactly sure why, because I love the Founders Edition cards, which is something you used to not say years ago, but they are so great ever since the 30 series. And I really wish they did, but uh, instead I picked up a Asus Tough Gaming, which the Tough series are still amongst like the better uh, that you can get, especially from Asus. Have a bunch of those cards in 30 series, 3070s, 3080s, 3090s. Those are really nice cards. Okay, so that's on there. And now this one is gonna go to the ATX power supply. So let's see, ooh, I forgot to put the power in the top for the 4080 Super. 40, what did I just say? The 4080 Super. These names, <laughs> these names are getting ridiculous. Okay, so I got two strands, one being split to go to the riser. And I'm gonna get this into the adapter. Okay. And then we're gonna plug that right into the top of the GPU. Now, if you're curious around powering these cards and how these 12 pin power connectors work and the revisions that have been on it, I'll leave a link up above to my video going over that when I got that 4090 in, especially as it relates to mining and making sure you're doing all this really safe. And then also some of the controversy that's been going on around that connector. All right, last but not least, we got the 4070 Super, which honestly, besides the 4090, 4090 is the best for mining, but, and I have not tested the 4080 Super yet, but so far, I've been the most uh, impressed with the 4070 Super. Got that all screwed in. Let's just wire up this last one. And looks like I still got to connect its PCIe to the motherboard. So we're going to do that too. And I want to see what kind of order this motherboard populates in. It's not the motherboard I would typically use. Um, it's kind of what I could get during the last absolute bull run and so I bought it. Um, so let's figure that out. But yeah, so I got the splitter. Again, this one uses dual eight pin to go to the 12 pin high power connector. And this is also going on the server power supply with that 4080 super. So we got that in there going into the top of the GPU. I will cable management, do some cable management on this in a second making sure I'm plugged in securely to all those PCIe slots. I already have HiveOS on the SSD on this, so I think I'm good. So next thing we're gonna do is just power this up. So I'm gonna turn on the server power supply first, and we can see the 4080 super fans are running, 4070 super fans are running. I'm sure when I edit this, I'm gonna like have said all these cards names wrong. <laughs> Um, and then the last thing we're going to do is power on the ATX power supply, which has the 4090 and the 4070 Ti Super on it. Those are both lit up. We got power to all the risers. Okay, let's take a look in HiveOS. There's all four cars in HiveOS, and I've been testing out this new cryptocurrency, and I have the overclock set for three of the 40 series cars, but I gotta do the 4080 Super, so maybe we'll just do that together. Here it is up in the mining software, and I can take a look at first that the core by default on the 4080 Super is running at 2775, so I know I'm gonna wanna bring that down from that point to get some power savings on this algorithm, but what I definitely wanna do first is see how far I can push the memory. And on these 40 series cards, you can push the memory much further than the 30 series. So what I'm gonna do first is just start at plus 2000, and then I'm gonna take a look at how that changes the efficiency, which is currently a 1.36 over in the mining software. I'm gonna see if that increases my efficiency, which it should. And then I'm gonna come back and start bringing down uh, the power on this. So let's take a look and watch this change. Boost in performance, boost in efficiency. Let's push it a little bit further. I'm gonna go up now to 
4,000 and see if it likes that. Power supply is screaming at me now. It doesn't really like that, but boost in performance, boost in efficiency again, coming in at a 1.38. Um, I might be able to push it a little bit further, but I'm gonna be conservative and leave it there for right now. You can see the core has downclocked itself just a little bit based on the amount of power that this GPU is pulling and how much I'm overclocking the memory. So let's pull down the core a little bit, see if we can get this even higher on the efficiency. I'm gonna go down to, let's just say 2490, and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna come over here to the lock core clock in Hive OS, enter 2490, hit apply. I'm gonna probably lose a little bit of hash rate, but I should lose a good amount of power and then get this efficiency. Hopefully, yep, there it is, just hit above the 1.4, up to 1.5. We'll let that settle out. Maybe I can pull the core down a little bit more, or maybe I have to give it more core. And that's what I'm gonna do to just find a balance of where this GPU runs at the most efficiently by giving it the most amount of memory that it can handle and then pulling the core down to just save on power uh, and get efficiency. So I'm gonna continue to tinker with that. I just wanted to show you my general approach on how I do these things. And then I can settle out the fans that are on here uh, and have them run at the speed that I want them to to keep these GPUs really cool. But that's it. That's the start of the 40 series test rig to join my 30 series test rig. I got a couple more cards coming that I'm really excited about getting up in here. Do you have 40 series cards? Which ones are your favorite? Which ones do you have? Do you have a rig of them? Do you just have a couple? Do you have one in your gaming PC? Let me know down in the comment section. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like button if you did. Sub to the channel. All my social media Discord is linked down in the description below. Hit up my Discord if you have any questions or need any help getting mining. Please take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Take care of this power supply. I'll see you in the next video.